right, it's time to get back into this diff. Finally got all the parts that I need to rebuild the diff, so uh, e-locker and new diff, crown wheel and pinion, uh, ring gear, etc. is going in. Wish me luck. Okay, I didn't film the um, uh, heating of the ring gear, so I just put it in the uh, oven for a little bit to get it up to temperature, and then it slides on to the carrier. And now it's just a matter of uh, putting all the bolts in and lock tightening them in place. Torque for the crown wheel bolts is 76.9 to 86.4, so we're going to go about 80.
well, wasn't that fun? A leaky seal turned into a two and a half thousand dollar plus diff rebuild. Anyway, I guess that means I got confidence in the diff. Um, like all things, still got to put oil in it. Yep. Uh, I fixed that broken stud. It was actually just missing, not broken, thank goodness. Like all things, uh, one thing leads to another and whilst you're in there. And so, new uni joints, cleaned up the drive shaft, gave her paint, new uni joints front. And then of course, noticed how much leaking was happening from the transfer case. So cleaned up the transfer case and put new seals in that, still gotta put oil in that. And then noticed that the front uni joints were buggered. Now, of course, the HJ45's uh, part uh, uh, two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive, normally in two-wheel drive. Oh. Also noticed that there was an oil leak coming from the input shaft of the transfer case. So I ordered a seal for that. And then, of course, to do that, pulled the, the front tail shaft off. And that's when I noticed how bad the front unis were, so I'm gonna replace them. But, like all things, it's missing a Welsh plug in here so that when you pressurize grease in here, which is normally for the slip joint, uh, all the grease comes out here. So, gotta find a Welsh plug for that, or this is very worn, this, this slip joint. So maybe Boris is gonna donate his front drive shaft yet. I've gotta go and have a look at that and see whether uh, it is better and of course when I pulled off the front drive shaft all started pissing out of the pinion and then I noticed that the lock nut is loose it's locked but it's loose so front pinion seal I'm not going to pull that diff apart because that only works when you actually put it in your four-wheel drive so that's when we're off-road uh, it, I do have to rebuild the swivel hubs because they are leaking a little bit, especially this one. And the oil indicated that as well as a little bit of uh, grease is mixed with the oil. That's not a biggie, but I'll do that when I put the disc brakes on the front. <sighs> Will this ever end? Uh, I guess this is what you got to do for a trip prep for um, for the 7,500 Ks we have to do to the top end next year. And the Overland telegraph line, a tele track. So I want to be confident that everything is good in the drive train and brakes, etc. So anyway, the locker's in, just got to wire it up now um, and fill it with oil. I forget to fill it with oil. Oh, it's been a, it's been a monumental effort to get us this far, but we're here. And uh, so really all I got to do is clean up the Axle surfaces, I've already done this one. And bung the axle in this side, although I did notice there is a little bit of looseness in this wheel bearing. Previous owner did put new wheel bearings in it, so that's just gonna be tightened up. This one's good. This one's good, just need to pull out the um, the studs and clean up that surface. I did put new studs on the other side and I probably will on this side too. New studs, cone washers, etc. Again, failure point. Uh, these 8 mil studs are known for braking, but that's usually in some horsepower applications. And of course, Natasha's got no horsepower. <laughs> but again, we're going properly off-road doing the Overland Teletrack, so we don't want to break stuff like that. So for the sake of 30 odd bucks for new studs, Put them in then i know it's good a uh, bit of a clean up on the underside i do have to organize a new exhaust yet this one's completely rotted out and that will coincide with putting the extractors on to make the 2h a the 2h the h a powerhouse yeah still won't be a powerhouse anyway we're getting there hope you enjoyed that stay tuned for the next installment of Project Natasha, Tassie to the Cape.